So today is gonna be a double upload day. The first upload is gonna be my mod list, at least the most important mods. This first mod isn't really considered a mod, it's a mod manager. And downloading this is gonna make downloading other mods a lot easier. This one's pretty self-explanatory, you just manually download it. And if you're new to the site and you don't have like a membership, you just do slow download on all these. For this one, you just open it up and you can download it wherever. You don't have to extract it to any specific folders or anything. And it's a program that's gonna look like this. Over here on the left, there's a mods button. These are all the mods I've installed and I've been testing a lot of them out. I'm not running all of them, I'm only running a few. One thing to note is that to use Vortex, you have to sign up on Nexus Mods and you have to make an account. The reason being is like, for example, I've been looking at this mod, Dismemberment, and I don't know if I could actually use this mod or if it's a bit too much for YouTube. But assuming I wanted to download this mod, I go over to Files and down here, I'll go to Mod Manager Download. Again, I'll click Slow Download and right here, this window is gonna pop up. Just click Open Vortex and you're pretty much done. It's gonna say Download Finish on Vortex. You're gonna install it. It's then gonna say Mod Install installed then you go enable and by the way you can do this with a bunch of mods at once finally it's going to say deployment requires elevation then just click elevate and sometimes this message will pop up just hit confirm it's just going to use the newer file close the launcher before you elevate mods and if we go to launcher go over to mods we can see dismemberment is now here we can enable it or disable it i'm not going to enable it for now because i'm just not sure about how youtube's gonna feel about that even though they probably wouldn't know if you couldn't get vortex to work or you just want to do it the old-fashioned way you can go down to manual download on each mod. I'm going to try this one out. Skills matter. I don't know if I'm going to use this on today's playthrough, but it looks pretty cool. Again, we choose slow download and it's now going to give us a zip file that we're going to have to extract. The easiest way to find where to extract it to is go to Bannerlord on your Steam page, right click it and go down to properties. Under properties, go over to local files and do browse local files. This folder should pop up and then just open up modules. Click up here in this bar, control C. Then on your extraction program, just control V on the destination path. Then hit OK and voila, you're done. All right, now that you know how to install the mods, now we're going to get into what mods we're actually using. The first one and arguably the most important one being Bannerlord Tweaks. Once you've installed it and enabled it in the launcher, on Bannerlord's menu, you're gonna see Mod Options and Bannerlord Tweaks should come up here. The first option is Battle Renown Tweak. You can change how much renown you get from each battle. One being the normal amount of renown, five being five times as much renown. I'm doing five times right now because I'm restarting a series and I wanna get back to like the late game as quickly as I can. So I wanna go as quickly as possible. If you want a more slow paced experience, then obviously yeah, lower it. You can set your base companion limit to whatever you want and you can also change the companion limit bonus per clan tier so say you get like clan level two if you have this at five you're going to be able to get five more companions this next one troop battle experience tweak changes how much xp your troops get in a battle and this is at three i think just on default which i do like it makes it easier to level up troops and reduces some of the grind and especially when you're playing on realistic it's really easy to lose troops and that's pretty much going to be it for this mod bannerlord tweaks bannerlord tweaks does have conflicts with this next mod though global experience gain which apparently did just get a big update today. After installing this mod, you're gonna have to navigate back to Bandler's modules folder, and you're gonna have to go into the folder, experience multiplier, open the bin file, win64 shipping client, right click on experience multiplier.xml, and preferably edit with notepad++. Notepad++ just makes life easier, but if you don't have it, then just open with notepad. You're now gonna get all these options, but we're not gonna worry about any of them for now. The only one we're gonna change is this value right here, which is the amount of global XP we get per action. So like, for example, if we're riding on the map normally we only get one times xp but we can change it up to we're gonna do three this means we're gonna get weapon skill three times easier riding skill three times easier athletic skill three times easier and yeah you get the point we're then gonna save it and that's pretty much it for this mod one thing to note though that today i just found out is bannerlord tweaks will override that mod and that mod will not work you can fix this though and in the modules folder find zz bannerlord tweaks then go over to module data loadables folder then do settings.bannerlordtweaksettings.xml Open this with notepad. Scroll down a bit till you find hero skill experience multiplier enabled. Set this to false, as well as hero skill experience override multiplier enabled. Set this to false as well. This next one, Tainai's Bannerlord adjustments and fixes, does quite a bit of things. The main thing it does that I really like is parties with foot troops move faster with riding horses. And in the base game, this is the case. However, they don't move that much quicker, only 50% quicker. The base setting of this mod is 90% quicker, but I like 100%. Like I think if you have a horse for each troop, they should should be able to ride it at the same speed that cavalry go just because i feel like cavalry are already op enough in battles as is i don't want to feel gimped moving on the world map if i'm using foot soldiers because i'm already gonna have hard enough time in battle in my game i adjusted the speed bonus that you get to 100 percent so they're moving as quickly as cavalry and i'll show you guys how to do that if you want go to the bannerlord modules folder and open up tainai bannerlord fixes open up the module data folder and open up the config.xml with notepad and if you set this number right here from 1.8 to 2 that's gonna make it so your foot soldiers 
soldiers, as long as you do have horses for them, are going to be moving just as quick as cavalry on the map. The last mod that we're going to have to do some configuration with is player battle heal. And this is the one that if you guys watch my first episode of the Lifesteal series, this mod was the one that was allowing me to heal off of getting kills. It does work with ranged characters, and I feel like if you're playing as a ranged character, it's a bit OP. Well, at least it's OP if you were healing as much as I was. I was healing for 30% on kill, which, by the way, people in the comment section were saying that 30 is too much. And so today we'll be changing that. Under the modules folder, we go down to Z player battle heal, module data folder, and again, open config.xml with notepad. The first thing we're going to change is a heal per kill. I was having fun with the 30. Maybe I'll just have it today and I'll try it out with 15. And also we're going to go to heal kill max and we're going to set that at 15. There's also a thing with this mod where when you're out of combat for like, I think it's like 10 or 15 seconds, you'll start healing over time. I think you heal like, it says 1% of your HP, but it feels like more. We're going to disable that heal amount for now as I feel like the health on kill is enough. And so we're going to set the health level per medical skill to 300. So we would need 300 medical skill before we start getting that healing bonus. This next mod is called armor does something and basically it changes bows, crossbows, all ammo and throwing rocks to cutting damage, which is going to be much less effective against higher tier armor than piercing damage. In the description, it does say archers will still wipe out anything with light armor, but armored troops will now be able to shrug off quite a bit of missile fire. Arm and chest pieces with at least 10 armor have been increased by 10 additional armor. So that's going to be even more of a nerf to bows and crossbows, which right now I think are extremely broken. And I think that play style is just so easy. This part of the mod is actually interesting. I didn't even know this. In vanilla, which is like the base game with no mods, piercing gets 100% damage bonus to the head and the neck, but other damage types only get 20% because a sledgehammer to the head or an axe to the neck are no big deal, right? Yeah, no. Cutting now gets a 50% bonus to the head and 100% bonus to the neck, which I guess he's trying to get at. You could slice someone's head off. Piercing gets a 20% damage bonus to the chest and torso and a 50% bonus to the head and the neck with this mod. And Blunt gets a 100% damage bonus to the head, so you can just straight up just knock someone out. These are good changes in my opinion. All this stuff makes sense and I like it. This next mod that I just recently installed that I've been kind of testing out is Zorbarax's Cut Through Everyone, which makes melee so satisfying. Ordinarily, you can only cut through, I think, two units at once, but with this mod, you can cut through everyone, I think. The max I've gotten so far is a quad kill, but I haven't been using some of the longer reach weapons, which in today's playthrough, I'm going to be trying to get a really long pole arm that might be able to slice through like six people at once. So that's to be really fun. And I think with that, I'm going to end this video. There's a few minor mods that I have that kind of adjust gameplay a bit. And what I'm going to do with those is I'm going to put them in the description, explain what they do, and leave a link to the download. If you guys want this to be a thing I do like every month or maybe even every few weeks, then let me know in the comments. Drop a like. If you're an archer, then drop a dislike, of course. With that, I want to thank you all for watching. I'm going to try to get out episode two today. I really want to do a double upload and I will see you in the next one.